on the previous episode. Not much happening. Okay, there is the shed. That's where we found him before. Okay. Here goes. Gotcha. Ah! Come on, Dagwin. Let's get you on your feet. Oh, thanks, James. I think I had a lucky escape. Must be one of these pallets that hit me. Yes, it looks like you were very lucky. What were you doing here? I was just trying to find Dennis's son. He used to hide in this shed. Sorry, I, I should have spoken to you first. Don't worry about it. That leaves the question, though. Where is his son? Did you take a look in there? Is he not in there? Oh, no. No, I can assure you nobody is in my shed. Well, as we're here, would it be okay if I just had a if I had a thorough look in here? Uh, no, no, stop right there, Dagwin. Nothing to see in there. Oh, okay. Um, if you're sure, can I not just take a look? No, I think you've done enough damage here today. Yeah, it's best you went home. Well, all right. John, you're not in there, are you? Look, Dagwin, I told you, he's not in there. It's best you go and have some rest. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're absolutely right. Um, thanks, James, for helping me up. I'll, uh, I'll probably speak to you again soon. Yes, of course. You're definitely going to have a rest. You're struggling to find words. Ah. Oh, right. Okay, everybody. Um, I'm just going to have to end this vlog here. Well, this might be in the new vlog, actually. I've got an absolutely pounding headache. I think it was just the corner of that pallet that caught me. But, ow. Ow, that really hurt. Oh, good. It looks like he didn't get in. Dennis? Sorry, got a bit of a headache. Well, I found my son. Oh, good. Finally. Where was he? Not a clue. But don't worry. I'm gonna have some words with him. Oh yeah, you do that, Dennis. Uh, thanks for letting me know. Hello, everybody. Sorry, <laughs> not very enthusiastic. I've been whacked on the head by that pallet. Right on the, the corner of the pallet hit me on the top of the head. Couldn't believe it. It's almost as if it was stacked up intentionally to uh, to fall on somebody who opened the door. And James was acting really weird, but no. No, there can't be anything weird going on, can there? Anyway, on to more pressing matters. To begin with, we have the bales, and as you can see, I have had to spend £250 to get these wrapped by somebody else. I had to get a contractor in, the same people who did the grass, and they have wrapped the bales, but done it in pink. The charity colour. Uh, but that's fine, it doesn't matter, they're going to ferment and um, yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to just leave these two ferment for now because there's no point in moving them. It'll probably be a few days until they're ready. But the reason why I had to get somebody in is because the dealership couldn't find a wrapper which would suit the bale size for the baler which I have. It's really weird. Um, so what they've done is they've actually sourced a different baler instead. So we're going to be getting rid of the chrome baler and we're going to be replacing it with a class baler. It's a sort of older class Roland baler. And because it is older and more used, they're going to give me £2,000 back. Seems like a pretty good deal. But yeah, it is of course older and more used, as I just said. So we don't win every way, but it means we get to keep the existing wrapper, which will be good. And yeah, in a few days' time when they have fermented, they'll be going off to the BGA to make a load of money. And it should be quite a decent chunk. 
So obviously you've just heard the phone call from Dennis. Um, good news. That is definitely good news, um, I suppose. I know that some people really don't want me to help Dennis's son anymore, and to be honest, I probably won't do because he really was disrespectful. And after what he did and didn't say thank you and just ran off and stuff, what is the point in helping? Um, yeah, I think instead of me taking the fall, well, actually, no, I will. I'll go and get the other baler, and then we'll take the other tractor back with that baler because I want to leave that there. So we'll head off, we'll go and get this belt later picked up and then we can come back and just sort all that out but no it's uh, it's rare usually I, I do persevere and I try and help but you know two and a half weeks two and a half weeks after running away for doing something you shouldn't have even been doing no I just I can't put up with that it, it's one of the only things that I I really don't want to help anymore with. Obviously I've read your comments and I know that most people don't even want me to help him anyway. They didn't want me to help him in the first place and I suppose I do regret doing that but I wasn't ready to know and I was just trying to be helpful. Okay so there's the baler. We've got the class baler. Looks like we've got quite a few pieces of equipment here at the moment. So the unusual situation where I'm actually going to take a machine away and take some money away. Well there we go. It wasn't actually 2000 exactly. It was almost 2,000. It was £2 short. So we are now free to take it. I've just told them that I'm going to bring back the other setup as well. Let's hope this one is all compatible. It should be. Can't really see there being any issues. Okay, that's all good. Get back into the tractor and we'll take it back to the farm. Yeah, so because those bales are just there, sat around, fermenting, um, there isn't really much I can do there. But I do have to do some fertilising. So I should probably crack on with that today. I was going to say we don't have much money, but of course we have almost £2,000 more than we did have. And because we don't have the mortgage, it helps so much. It's, uh, it's so much better. having to pay two and a half thousand pounds every single week without fail that was tricky okay so we're just going to pop this down in I'll probably put it in the top top yard where it came from I will be doing some more bailing soon it won't be too long and just thinking about it if we are going to be doing some fertilizing well we have a we have a spreader in there we probably do have to buy some more fertilizer I've got some. Hopefully it hasn't gone rock hard. It's a shame to get rid of this tractor, but all good things come to an end. It is going to be going up for sale, so I could buy it. I really could. I think what I might do is try and get a price for my Massey Ferguson. If the price is right, we could swap. But to be honest, I don't think it's really going to generate enough. I did also notice that the steering wasn't quite as good as the Massey Ferguson. Yeah, we can usually get around here. I suppose it's just a bigger tractor. But we'll see. We'll see what price they want. And what price they'll give us. There we go. Yeah, it was a good baler, but obviously if it doesn't support our other machinery, which is quite old, then it's not really worth much to us. We have to be able to get our jobs done. I do not want to be paying hundreds of pounds each time getting contractors in to do something which I could just do for a few pounds, just for the price of diesel and time. Oh, I should probably just check on the sheep. And the two horses. Now I think they're probably going to be okay. But it's always worth checking. Oh, look at that, that really is low. It's this heat, it's getting warmer. I say this heat, it's like 11 degrees. But it has been very sunny. 
Yeah, the sheep are okay. That's that's fine. Um, and yeah, the wall is filling up gradually. So let's go and get that fertilizer spreader attached to the uh, the Ford. That's the best tractor for us to use. Make sure I close the gate over here. There we go. And we will go and get that field next to Ives' house all fertilized. Hmm, it's starting to look a bit messy again around here. Hey, we could always use this tractor. Actually, no, wait. I really would not want to be covered with the dust of the fertilizer. All right, although I do want to use this tractor again soon. It has been sitting around, not really doing much. Uh, it used to be on the mower, but since I've been using bigger stuff recently, it hasn't really been particularly useful. But then it would be a shame to get rid of it, because it, it's like the tractor which I found, and it, it's just really nice. Quite rare too, I think. We will put this in front of that trailer. Because that trailer is not going to be used again for a while. I want to keep some under cover if I can do. Um, but no, I keep thinking about what's been going on over at Dennis's old farm. I don't understand it. Why? I just don't. James is usually fairly relaxed and he would just say, oh yeah, it's fine, just take a look inside. I know it's not my property to look in, but even so, it just didn't seem right. It didn't seem like James. Maybe he is just trying to hide something genuine in there, something legitimate. It seems weird. And it isn't really any of my business since we've now found Dennis's son. Hmm. I, I don't know. I don't know if I should go and have a sneaky look when he's not there. Should Dagwin break into James's shed, your decision will influence the upcoming storyline. You decide. I've just been to the dealership and I have bought another crate of fertilizer. It cost me £500, I and mean, we didn't really use too much of it. We have totally filled the, uh, the fertilizer spreader here. So, oh look, it's, it's germinated. That looks good. I would like to sort of drive up that track and show you how far it gets before we get to the boundary. It's not far off our boundary, really. I'll have to speak to Ive though and see if she's happy for me to do that. Not too sure if she's in. I don't think she is. Don't really want to be peeping through the windows. Um, probably out on the horse or something. I can't see the horse through there. Lightning. Right. Seems interesting that she leaves the door open though. Well, here we go. It's a very good looking crop. It's germinated fairly quickly. I'm impressed. Okay, well this is going to be, I would say, a fairly fast job. It's a pretty good spreader. It's full, so we shouldn't be going back for more, I wouldn't have thought, although it's very hard to predict. Let's just begin. We have plenty of land to cover. It's a good sized field. I'm very happy with it. As I said, it's a fast job. This really is a good spreader. Really good working with. Um, so that is, well, it's still got quite a bit in it, actually. It's going to be about 60%. Well, what I'm going to do is go back over to the dealership. We're going to get as much in here as we can do out of the bag that we've bought. Hopefully it will all fit. 
If not, we'll just have to take the front loader over there and get it picked up. But my plan is to go over to uh, to Dennis's, just you know, knock some sense into John and just see if he apologises. Hopefully, he does do. That's what I'm really looking for here, an apology. It seems trivial now, I suppose, but, you know, that's not really the point. We, we've we had to uh, put up with a damaged tractor. Oh, it's not too bad, luckily. Um, and I've wasted quite a bit of time looking for him. So, I, I don't know, I think I'd probably prefer to focus on what James is up to. Seems strange because I, I'm now remembering that he went through this phase of wanting to buy everything. It seems weird. But he seems to have stopped that. So I don't know if that was just some kind of quick idea where he wanted to buy the world. Maybe he wanted to buy everything here just so he could own everything. So he had no competition. He's been so good to us. It wouldn't make sense that he's going to do something illegal. Yeah, this building site on the left here, I thought they were putting a new building up. Um, but actually all they've done is clear the rubble. So I've no idea when this new shop's going to appear. Seems really quiet. The pallet of fertiliser is currently in a parking space. Um, I should have taken it before, but I just wanted to get that done. Yes, there it is. Okay, good, so that did all fit. We'll put this back in the shed for the future. That same field is going to have to be done again when it has grown a bit more. I just have a bit of food before we go. Put this back in the shed. We have this uh, really nice homemade sprayer still. I don't know if I'm going to use it. I think I probably will do. Thing is, the uh, although it is a really nice machine, since we're now getting bigger fields, it is going to take longer to uh, to spray a field. So I might just go for the solid pellets of fertilizer instead of liquid fertilizer. Oh look, it needs mowing again. It always needs mowing, and we're so busy with other stuff. Right, I've refueled myself. It is time to head off to Dennis's place. And I'm not going without closing a gate. Because I know what happens when I come back. Somebody will have been in. Actually, that's really rare, but it has happened. It's usually a fly tip or something. So it's like an hour's drive from here, just about. It does take a while in this. I still can't afford to get a pickup truck. Maybe one day. Here we are. The beautiful sea air. You can tell the difference. It's much fresher air here. Okay, this is going to be interesting. I can't really see it's getting very far though. Right. Dagwin. Here he is. John, now, what's been going on? Yeah, I don't know what you mean. I've done nothing. I, um, what do you mean you've done nothing? You flipped my tractor over. Yeah, you flipped his tractor over. I, I never. What, what are you on about? Oh, I see. I must have bought that tractor with the self-flipping mechanism. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wish I could laugh too, Dennis. John, come on. The evidence is there. I found the tractor on its side. Just please apologise. Honestly, Dagwin, I would apologise if I'd known I'd done that. I think I'd know if I flipped a tractor, wouldn't I? Well, of course you'd know if you flipped a tractor over. Come on, lad. There's no point messing around. Oh, I never did nothing. This, is, this isn't fair. Well, put it this way then, John. If you don't apologise, then I could consider taking legal action. Oh, Dagwin, that's not necessary. I'll just shout at him. Oh, I don't know if that's going to do it though, Dennis. Haven't you already shouted at him? Oh, I have. I've been shouting at him all morning. That's because I've done nothing wrong. Why can't you understand that? 
Honestly, I was just having a game. I was bored. I ran off. I don't want to work at your farm. Honestly. But I never flipped your tractor. I'd never do that sort of thing. You know what? I kind of believe him, Dagwin. Well then, who did flip my tractor? Because nobody else was at my farm. Oh, no, no, there was. There was somebody there. They claim they're delivering pig food. I don't have any pigs. I have horses and sheep. Oh, no, no, they came in a telehandler. What, and you, you just let them in? You didn't question anything? Oh, well, they said you, they wanted your tractor to move the, the food, I suppose. Did this person have a name? Oh, now, that's testing me. This was two and a half weeks ago. It began with a J. Um, James? That's the one. That's the name. How did you know? Yes, I, I should probably be asking myself the same question.